It's the balance between the front and the rear. It's not just a massive bicep and no tricep, massive quads, no hamstring and glutes. It's always the balance of both. So hopefully you guys understand that. Well, we are hitting it. It is Sunday morning. This will be up later today, but we are gonna talk about the forgotten muscle. What is the forgotten muscle? Is it the calves? Nope. Nope, it is the rear delts. It is a small muscle that wins shows when you turn around from the backside. I'm gonna show you something. Doc's starting out right here. Mid grip, pulling back. Nice set, nice set. Jeffrey, show me a power position. Doc was more of a isolation position, high reps. Just gonna go power. The reason I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you three different angles to do this. All three different ways are right. Here we go. Now you saw where Doc's arms were. His arms are up here. Jeff is coming down here. This is gonna allow you to incorporate more mid back and put that rear delt. Again, correct form. On this one, you're gonna be able to even go heavier. So do it up, switch it up, enjoy this. But when I tell you, in my opinion and judging, when somebody turns around and you see those hamstrings uh, the finished details and the glutes and the rear delts, those, those forgotten body parts separate the winners from the guy taking second, third, and fourth. It's a small muscle, but man, it makes you look like a superhero when they're really good. Unfortunately, Jeff has none. All right, now you see this and you may ask yourself, all right, that's not how you do rear delts. Yes, it is. But it is also how you hit that entire shoulder mid back upper back flex on stage imagine you're kind of doing a rear back double by squeeze everything up there that is the mindset that's going on through this motion get it all try all the angles none of them are wrong it's all right one thing is uh i went lighter than both of these guys so in that angle I would go a little lighter. Unless mm -hmm. you're really strong. Mm -hmm. And then stay with these guys. Mm. Holy cow. Look at that. It's cool when, and I'm sorry this is off the subject, but when you can watch somebody and you can just tell what's working and see it actually functioning, that's when you know you're really doing it. So it's a different exercise for rear delts. I want to show you a couple options today. It may not look like it to you, but he is holding and pausing up at the top. And that's a power lifter, holding him, pause, boom, flex him. I don't know what he does at his home, but I'm assuming. Doc, you flex at home? Nope, does it at the gym. That's you right. do it at the gym. <laughs> what did I tell you about flexing in the gym? No flexing in the gym? Oh, jeez. Let's go. Pretty simple, throw a bench. You can do this standing. We normally do it standing, but we don't have a rope and I'd like a rope over a bar. Um, just because I'd like to be able to rotate the wrist. I'd like to rotate it forward and then pull it back. They're both going with an inside grip. So basically, I mean, it looks like an upright row, but you're just taking it up to the forehead in a direct angle straight out. So that pressure is going to be on the rear delts. Nice, Jeffrey. Good haircut, Jeff. Ooh. Anybody else say good haircut? Not the first one. No, I ain't the first one to say that, am I? That. Oh boy. I know you think he's working his arms, but well, you know, you're probably right. He is working his arms, but for you guys at home, just do it correctly. As he's finishing up the set, I'm going to show you a little change up. I'm going to try to do again inside. Now this is not upright, so it's not going down to your waist. It's going out in front of you. You can do this on a lap pull down machine, a seated row machine. We do it a lot on a seated row machine. Um, but then we also do the ropes. That. And we are supersetting That's right. that. Oh, uh, I caught you. I caught you. Hey, you mind taking this? Yeah. All right. Those of you who 
weren't paying attention, notice the grip. it out farther. Play with the angle of the cable. You can go low, high. Also, play with that hand placement. This set, a little bit wider. Last sets were all inside. Slight rotation at the top. See that pull? Be mindful, this isn't a pull from the traps. It's all initiated here and squeezing up top. Woo! Yeah. Not using a lot of weight. For me, yeah. I'm not using a lot of, These guys, I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm not using a lot of weight. And well, I'm on the natty juice. <laughs> then you're using a lot of I weight. Took two scoops. Yeah. Um, this is rear delts. We're gonna go into a shoulder workout now. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, this is confusing. I started with rear delts and not shoulder press. Oh, hmm. Let's talk about that. But that's it, we're gonna continue. I will catch you guys on my post meal. Have a great morning. A couple of little tips. Doc, anything? Jeff, anything? Hey man, Colt? try it. Colt, tell us something. You guys thought I was gonna shut you down, did you? And not tell you why we're starting with rear delts instead of uh, shoulder press. Well, because today we are starting two body parts. Two potty parts a day for all you youngsters that want to go crazy and get a little psycho action. We are doing it right now. For the next two months, we are going to go ballistic. Make sure the nutrition is on point. That's a big key point. We're hitting some uprights. We did start with the rear delts. I explained the whole rear delta idea to you is that it is such an important body part. Such an important important body part. Me personally, I like the rear delt over the front delt because you're already going to have somewhat of a front delt just being a guy. You're going to have some kind of... Uh, mass in the lower chest uh in the front delt um, but the rear delt man go in the mirror right now turn sideways and tell me your shoulder doesn't slope down doc you can jump again um and what i mean by I slope down is it just kind of just drops got a front delt and it just drops nothing there that's what i don't want i want that superhero look to where it's going straight back uh it's a beautiful look um and you're gonna find as you continue your, your bodybuilding career or your physique career, whatever the career is to develop that body, it's the balance that gives you the visual um, beauty. It's the balance between the front and the rear. It's not just a massive bicep and no tricep, massive quads, no hamstring and glutes. It's always the balance of both. So hopefully you guys understand that. Action, action. All right, we got four ounces of oatmeal there. We got some uh, baby shows going on behind us. We got, this is gonna be a mess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to get a pump for this thing or something. Jeez. I'm not purposely doing that either, guys. <laughs> you got it. I should have Mona do this. Yeah. That was terrible. Um, anyways, eight ounces of egg whites. We did the workout. Up at five, four meals in. It is noon, four meals in. Um, here's the big thing. I was just watching one of these videos that uh, Machiavelli mm -hmm. yeah, put up. It was a great one too, because it was talking about how uh, you've got to eat. You got to eat carbohydrates and you got to eat calories. For you guys that want to put on size and get really large and get that muscularity, you're not gonna do that eating a bodybuilding cutting diet when you're trying to put on size. And I think social media is going to steer you in that wrong direction. So just make sure that you're following or, or listening to guys that um, became successful and did what they did uh, in the bodybuilding field. But look at their ages when they were young. Uh, a lot of the 80s guys, 90s guys were already so jacked at such a young age of 20, 22, and 24 in those ranges, which I don't see anymore. Um, now I just see the uh, 
like two dimensional guys where you know you turn sideways they disappear um they're sliced and, and maybe that's what you want i'm talking to the guys that want to put on a good amount of muscle so you got to be able to eat and you've got to be able to make sure that your body can utilize carbohydrates that's a huge point nobody talks about that they just talk about that everybody's body doesn't utilize carbohydrates that's nothing that was said in the 80s and 90s when you got some of the biggest freakiest guys um or just uh nowadays you, you guys follow bodybuilders which is probably the more i think about it not the smartest for size because bodybuilders are guys that are trying to sculpture a physique and so they could be 160 pounds and you think oh these guys are monsters and they're not where you'll see 20 year old 22 year old football players that are monsters and you'll see how they eat and i think you, you miss the concept of size and just looking good so there's two different things here if you want to just look good for pictures because trust me uh, pictures don't do anything in person a guy that can look great in pictures you get in person and, and they're just uh there's nothing there or you can meet somebody in person and it's like I, I always say or they always have said this to me never meet your idols like like actors because they're so big on screen and then you meet them and it's like you know I love Tom Cruise I don't want to meet Tom Cruise because he's so big to me in life and he's so just a monster and then I meet him and that may not be the case so anyways when it goes to health and fitness it's the same kind of thing uh, you can see guys in photos that look tremendous and then in person it's not and I don't know if you guys because I'm gonna go off of what you guys are asking me you guys I want to put on muscle I want to put on this muscle so I'm assuming you're not gonna just want to be somewhat muscular I think you guys want to look like Frank Zane or Arnold Schwarzenegger that's what I'm gonna go off of and that's what this video is about so uh, that's the guys that need to eat and that's why I go back to the football players because if you want to see big guys, go look at 22-year-old football players, 21-year-old guys that are 300 pounds, 280 pounds, and in good shape. These guys are all bigger than the biggest bodybuilders in the world. Except you guys think that bodybuilders are the biggest thing. They're not. They're the most sculptured things. And illusion-wise, they look the most incredible, the most incredible bodies. But they're not the biggest guys. Not even close to the biggest guys. So... Um, just try to take that into uh, digestion today. Get it? Food, digestion. Uh, eight ounces of eggs. Uh, bone. One cup of oatmeal. And then I am doing a scoop of protein. And that is it. Enjoy today's thing. Enjoy the rear delts again. For me being a judge, I'm gonna look like for the guy that has that full shoulder, not just the big front delt. We're already giving that front delt, so spend more time on the rear delt. And that has to go with the other body parts as well. Exactly. See, he even said the same thing. Um, again, I'm just trying to give you some advice that works for me, it works for the thousands of people I work with around the world, and also what I've seen through the 40 years of being in the health and fitness world. Hopefully you got all that. That's it. I'm out, enjoy the day. If you're gonna eat and you have no comprehension of eating or how even to start eating, tighten meal plan.